हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन क्लास टेंथ सोशल साइंस क्लासेज इन वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन रिसोर्स एंड डेवलपमेंट दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज मॉड्यूल दिस इज द रिसोर्स प्लानिंग यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस इन मॉड्यूल नंबर वन इन पार्ट वन that due to the indiscriminate use of the resources there is a need of sustainable kind of development but for the sustainable development first of all we need to do the planning of the resources means we need to find out the resources their occurrence in different places then we need to make a proper plan to use the resources so in this way we are able to do do the judicious use of these resources and we can do more use these resources so for the resource planning resource planning basically this is a technique or a skill for the proper utilization of the resource means if we want to do the sustainable development then first of all we need to plan the resources and after the planning we can use in more utilizing form them there are different stages of the resource planning first first of all we need to identification and listing of the resource as you know in different area there is availability of different different resources like if we talk about uh, in the rajasthan area there is a availability of wind resources sandstone soapstone if we talk about chota nagpur plateau there is a availability of iron bauxite cobalt zinc if we talk about uh, Uh, southern area there is availability in tamil nadu lignite coal if you talk about mumbai high there is availability of petroleum so different different area there is a availability of different different resources so first of all we need to identify them and listing them then planning for the exploitation how do we pl- exploit them how do we use them so for this develop a planning structure and suitable technology skill and other institutional staff then after the exploitation we need to match the resource planning development plan with the national development plan according to the national priority according to the country's priority importance of the resource planning what is the need of this resource planning and what are the implications it is necessary to maintain the balance development program in india because as you know there are some area which are rich in mineral and some area which are poor in the availability of some minerals so as i told you some area are rich in iron ore to so some area are rich in other or non metallic minerals so rajasthan is poor in water resources but rich in solar and wind energy reasons are some uh, some reasons are self sufficient but other reason are poor in other important resources like um, madhya pradesh rich in many resources but ladakh is poor in resources wastage of resources can be avoided by the planning environmental pollution can be reduced and over exploitation of the resource can be avoided so in this way we can say there is a very uh, essential or important of the resource planning now we need to focus on the resource conservation how can we conserve the resource so whatever the resource are available we need to plan them then second thing we need to conserve the resource also so what is the resource conservation plan use of resources in order to meet the present needs and store a part for the future generation this is called resource conservation whatever the resource are available in an environment first of all we need to meet the need of the present generation and we need to preserve these things for the future needs also this thing is called as a resource conservation why it is necessary first many resources are non renewable all know uh, as we already discussed this thing in the classification resource there are two kind of resource renewable and non renewable renewable we can generate but what about the non renewable non renewable there are again two type renewable uh, or we can say recyclable and non recyclable recyclable we can reuse but non recyclable what about them so you know they take millions of year there are very limited in our nature so we need to do the judicious use of them so that's why we need to conserve them 
कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्स हेल्प अस टू रिड्यूस वेस्टेज एंड इट विल हेल्प टू द इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमिक प्रोग्रेस रिसोर्स कंजर्वेशन हेल्प अस टू प्रोटेक्ट द एनवायरमेंटल आल्सो एनवायरमेंट प्रोग्रेस आल्सो सो इन दिस वे वी कैन से दैट देयर इज अ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्स इज वेरी असेंशियल If we see the Gandhi's thought about the conservation of the resources or concern about the resource, so Gandhi ji said that in India there is a enough for the everybody needs, but we don't have anything for completing the creeds. It means we have enough resources, enough material to completing the need of the person. But if the person become greedy, so we can't satisfy their greed. so greed and selfish individual exploitative nature of the modern technology are root cause for the resource depletion we we are not using the resource actually we are exploiting the resource the rich person or the industrialist these are exploiting the resource and this is a major cause root cause important cause for the depletion gandhi ji was against about the mass production and he wanted to replace with the product by masses he it means the production should not in the abundance but the production should by the maximum person of the society that's why he also promoted the uh, building of khadi now land as a resource the next topic this is the land as a resource as you know uh, land is a very important resource and it is very useful so here you see how land resource is important land is the habitant of man we all know these things land is very essential for the development of plantation flora all these things economic activity perform only in their land like whether we establish the industry or whether we do the uh, agriculture activities so for all things their land is very essential roads railway construction each and every commercial activity wildlife all these things supported by the land only there are different kind of land or we can say on land there are different kind of relief features so if we see the plain so there are 43% land area cover by the plain then 30 30% area under the mountainous region and 20% area under the plateau region so in india 43% land area 30% mountainous region and 27 Per percent is the plateau region. Plain area, as you know, these are very, uh, you know, good uh, condition provided for the agriculture and industries. Land use pattern in India. There are different land use pattern in India. So total land area of India is near about 3.28 million square kilometer. As you know, land is a fixed resource. So 43 in this 3.28 million, there are number of uses of the land like net shown area forest occupied area waste land non agriculture agriculture area pastoral land trees cultivable land fallow area current fallow area so there are number of uses of land or number of land pattern in india next as you can see by this pie diagram the forest general land use category or the general land use category in 2008 and 9 so these are change according to time causes for the land degradation as you know from the previous time to the present time the productivity of land is degrading continuously so what are the causes behind that first of all uh, we can classify these factors into two parts human as well as natural large scale soil erosion caused by the running water and the wind dumping of waste material from the mining centers and industrial units as you know from the industrial region there are number of or we can say abundance of waste material dumped on the land area and it causes for the generation of bacteria chemical infiltration and land degradation over irrigation lead to increase in the salinity and alkalinity as we can say due to the ignp indira gandhi canal project the western rajasthan suffered from this problem as well as punjab and haryana also over grazing by animals they also promoting for the deforestation because the animals destroy the young saples and it also increases the soil erosion activity waste water from the industrial unit pollute the land also mineral 
processing like grinding of limestone for cement industry and calcite soap stone for the ceramic industry also creates a loss of dust and it also causes for the environment pollution air pollution how do industries causes land degradation if we see the particular industry so they are responsible for the land degradation in a great extent like they dump solid waste industries discharge water into uh, water points without recharge them then the ceramic industry create a lots of dust then clearing of forest also industrial uh, you know pollution also responsible for the uh, land degradation and all these problems now the some measures which we need to do for the conservation of land as well as the soil first of all prevent the soil erosion by ending deforestation so we need to plant trees we need to afforestation to avoid the soil erosion then we need to prepare the shelter belt so it's also the another factor Uh, by which we can plant more and more trees and we can prevent the soil erosion then stabilizing of the sand dunes mining activity should be controlled by the new technology also introduced industrial waste removed from the harmful substances urban waste should be treated properly and the urban waste should be converted into the biogas so we can use the biogas and we can uh, dump the waste material into certain place and we can use the waste material convert into the biogas then over grazing and over irrigation over grazing stop so we can prevent the soil erosion and by over irrigation we can prevent the prevent the problem of salinity and alkalinity here we can see that the degrade land in india so near about 130 million hectare of land in india is degraded then 56% water eroded areas 28% forest degraded areas 6% saline and alkaline deposits and 10% of the wind eroded in next module we will discuss the six major soil types and the problem of soil erosion and their conservation thank you